hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today we are going to look at how to create a custom tab bar like this the ui has been taken from dribble and i'll put the link in the description for you to see if you like the video at any point please give it a like it really means a lot to me and click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell icon as well so without any further ado let's jump into the video okay so i have my newly created project right here and uh, let's get rid of the uh, this dummy code uh, and let's add a table view now let's create a state variable for our table uh, table view selection and we'll name it selected tab for now uh, i will leave it as uh, as a empty string now i don't want to call this file content view instead let's call it custom tab view okay after after that let's uh, add some style to our uh, to our tab view and we are going to use a page tab view style and also ignores save area region all and edges bottom now this will not preview anything right now because uh, there is no view inside the table view and also we haven't created our custom tab bar so let's do that now but even before that we need icons for our uh, custom tab bar and i am using sf pro symbols for this so now inside our edge stack uh, we'll have a for for each loop to loop through the tabs uh, array and for the tab button itself, we will create a new file called tab button view. We also want equal spacing between our tabs. So we'll put a uh, condition if image is not the last item, then keep adding a spacer between each tabs. And now to make it a bit more fancy, let's add some paddings, background color and clip shape of a rounded rectangle and another padding for outside the tab also we want to hover over uh, the content so let's put all of this inside the uh, inside as a stack after this for the contents of uh, table view let's create two files called file view and home view and give them tags from the tabs array Now obviously we don't have any content in the tab button view so this is why it's not looking as good. So let's add that now. We need two variables image and a binding variable of a selected tab to know the state of the current tab and also changing, the, uh, changing its position. After this we will add a button and inside the button we'll add an image which will come from the for each loop and then a bit of styling. We're, uh, we're basically saying if the select tab is equal to the image then the color will be green else it will, all, uh, it will be white. Also I already have the images and colors ready if you want the same images and colors then you can get from uh, get them from my github repo now if you run the app everything is working except the buttons are not changing the color on uh, click that is because we need to add uh, this in our buttons actions and now everything is working fine and lastly i will show the one section from uh, this ui because uh, the rest of it is same with different orientation and this is all very simple some edge stacks and v stacks to align our code and some groups to give some styling to different views the rest of it uh, you can follow along and uh, there is no need for explanation as it is like pretty basic ui stuff However, uh, if you guys have any issues regarding uh, this, you can uh, always leave a comment down below. And if you guys want me to create a tutorial 
for basic Swift UI, please let me know uh, and then I'll create a series for it. So this was it, an implementation of custom tab bar using SwiftUI. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in the next one.